I had um, a Dalmatian named Scout, and she, I got her when she was a puppy. She was just about three months old, and she was a rescue dog from uh, the Humane Society in Ontario. One day, uh, she was totally fine, and then the next day, her uh, paws started to buckle when she was walking. She was still here for about um, about another eight weeks with kind of this slim hope that um, some rest might help her get better, but she was at home when she passed away, so it kind of keeps you, uh, it keeps the idea of ever having another dog quite distant. I was actually away on a trip um, and just happened to be, this was in uh, New York City, and I happened to come across this um, kind of a cool organization, like a, re a dog rescue organization called Badass Brooklyn uh, Rescue. So this is how I came across a couple of different dogs, including um, Shabtab, who uh, was advertised on online as Shasta because it's the Canadian version of her name. She was um, a street dog in Iran, and um, there was a, a guy who used to come by and feed the group of dogs every night. One night he found uh, her at the side of the road. She had been hit by a car, so she was quite badly injured. and. Um, she had to have wires put in and then and pins put in to hold her leg kind of to her hip. I've seen x-rays and it looks pretty scary, like all the work that is, has been done inside. That's all, it's all, she's kind of held together by wires and pins. After her surgery, they asked a lady to, uh, named, named uh, Lida to take her in and uh, look after her uh, during her recovery. But that is when the connection was made to find out if there wasn't a way that she could be adopted uh, uh, by somebody uh, outside of the country. Like Iran just isn't a very dog friendly country. So dogs are at risk. People who own dogs are even just at risk of having those dogs just picked up and taken away. So people are very um, secretive about owning them and very careful about uh, um, being seen with their dogs. So she's got tons of um, pictures on online through the animal shelters webpage and through Facebook and all it's just amazing to see the response of people who really wanted to um, help and she had the cost of her surgery covered by all these people who wanted to donate money to um, the vet who who did the surgery I decided to kind of step up and say, yeah, I'm, I'm willing to help, right? I'm willing to give her some shelter. If you have this random street dog um, uh, who, by some stroke of good luck, has all these people that are um, kind of madly in love with her, so she's, she's um, really been well, well looked after, this journey that she's had from coming from being a street dog to living in Vancouver. And she responds to uh, to um, Farsi words, so this is what I uh, this is what I use with her because I we I just found that instead of teaching her English words, she responds to Farsi. So I I just learned how to to say them. Yeah, yeah I mean it's really um, it's really been. Um, Amazing for me to realize that even after the heartbreak of having lost a pet who was such a huge part of my life for 14 years and never thinking that you're going to get over it, it's really that um, realizing that you do and you can and you can offer that same love to another pet is, um, is a really happy uh, discovery.